Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my next video. As you can see here, hopefully as you can see here, I'm going to open a hobby box. Of course it's a hobby box because it's a hobby only product. If you don't believe me, it says so right there and when his tops ever lied to us about anything. But Cosmic Chrome, I am beyond excited to open this pack, <clears throat> open these 20 packs, open this one box of 20 packs. Just basic setup, just like a regular Topps Chrome Hobby Box, uh, 20 packs, four cards per pack. And if you ever wondered, what would Topps Fire look like? What would Topps Fire look like if it was all chromed out? Well, you're about to find out because it would probably look a lot like this. Beautiful box design, vibrant colors. I have Mr. Aaron Judge on this box. This is gonna be the only box of this I open unless something weird happens and the prices come back down on these, which I don't think they will because they're running about uh, over $200 a box right now. Topps had them on their website for $199.99 but I think they charged $97 to ship the box or something like that. So anyway, we're going to get one Nucleus Refractor per box. We're not guaranteed anything except that Nucleus Refractor. We're not guaranteed an autograph. I think autographs, from what I understand, fall about, oh, like three or four per case, something like that. So we're not guaranteed an autograph. So maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get to see an autograph. We can check out... We should get a couple refractors, one out of 10, Nucleus, one in 15. We have blue moons, gold interstellars, orange galactics, black eclipses, red flares, super fractors. There's all kinds of, in, all kinds of uh, parallels in here. We got supernova inserts, parallels of those, stargazing inserts, parallels of those. Um, there's cosmic chrome autograph, one per 138. One out of 138 packs, so that's six, about six to seven boxes. So a couple, two or three per case. So this is going to be all I open of this. I will probably buy some singles because I really do like the design of these. So when it cools down and the next hot thing comes out, um, prices start to come down a little bit, I will probably pick up a few singles of these. So what do I expect out of here? We are going to give this a strawberry rating at the end here from rotten to ripe so you guys let me know what you think at the end see if you agree with me or not before we get into this i want you to do me a favor i want you to subscribe to the channel just pushed over 400 subscribers getting up to 500 we're very close i've gained a lot of subscribers over the past couple weeks with a couple of the, of the videos i put out um, so go ahead and subscribe to the channel uh, publicly subscribe really appreciate that get to 500 we'll do another nice little giveaway um, so let's get into this what do i expect i would i hope i can get a couple rookies uh, the j rod would be nice um, you know a pena <clears throat> a Wander, a Bobby Witt, you know, get a couple of those guys, get a numbered parallel, get a little bit of color. That would be kind of, that would be pretty cool too. Uh, but we'll see. And we got a thick card already in our first pack. I'm not sure what that means. If we're going to have a hit of some sort, I really don't know, but you can see, maybe you can see how that card stock is a little bit thicker. So maybe it's just a color parallel or something. We'll see. We'll check it out. So there we go. There's the design. We got Justin Turner right on top. You see the back. Pretty awesome looking design, I gotta say. With five years of stats. Got a nice picture on the back. And unlike Panini, it's a different picture on the front than it is on the back. Panini is notorious for that. They will put the same exact picture on the front and the back of the card. Different design there. There's a Cattell Marte. Here's our first rookie, Hoy Park. And let's see what this thick card is here. It might just be a refractor. Oh, it's going to be an insert. So it's a Max Scherzer rocket arm insert. So the insert's going to be just a little bit, just a little bit thicker. <clears throat> so I know it's nothing, it's nothing too crazy, but I'm going to set that over there to the side. We'll put them up over there on the on a stand, and there we go, Nolan Arenado. 
Very nice. Gorgeous looking cards here. Yuli Gurriel on the back here. We got Tyler Gilbert. And we have a Chris Sale rocket arm. <clears throat> so I think, to me, those are going to be, I believe those are going to be the most, if we look here, it's going to be the most common insert that we can find. I assume it's an insert. I guess I should look. I thought it was an insert. Maybe it's not an insert. Maybe it's just a subset. Nope, it is an insert. Number three. So, all right. Next pack. <clears throat> Mitch Hanniger. That's our first. There's a nice rookie, Nick Lodolo. So it's our first, first decent rookie. We'll get him up here on a stand. We have another rocket arm here of Walker Bueller. And the last card in the pack is, there we go. That was one I was hoping to get. So, so far, so far, so good. <clears throat> I will take it. A base, Julio. Anytime you get uh, the top rookie in the set, in a set like this especially, where... You know, you're not guaranteed. You're only going to get 80, 80 cards out of like a 200 and some 200 card set, I think. So you're not even going to get a complete set. So to get the one, the one card, the one rookie you're wanting, take that. We'll get that bad boy top loaded up a little bit later on. But right now, we'll just dig into the cards. Dolis Garcia, Alex Bregman. There we go. There's another one. O'Neill Cruz. I didn't even say his name at the beginning. And then JT Real Muto. So... We've got a Julio, and we've got an O'Neal Cruz. So two rookies. So, so far, I said if I could at least get two of the top rookies out of here, not expecting to, you know, not being guaranteed anything, getting two right off the bat here out of the first, uh, what, four packs. So, all right, here we go. Glaber Torres. There's Joey Votto. We'll say Abreu and, oh, well, <laughs> all right. So far, so good. We got a Pena now. If, there we go. A little bit off there with my, with my sleeving. So there we go, Jeremy Pena. Check out the back of that one too. So, so far, so good. J-Rod, O'Neal Cruz, Jeremy Pena. If I get a Bobby Witt, I mean, what else could you ask for? How about an autograph? Out of one random box, if I can get an autograph. Looks like we got a refractor of some sort coming up in this pack. All right. Pete Alonzo, Kevin Gosman, Acuna, and this is... It's a Brewer. It's probably going to be Yelich. Nope. Is that Jackie Bratt? No, Lorenzo Kane. Okay. So, uh, I know that's one of those in Stargate. Yeah, there's a stargazing insert. There we go. That's what that is. Stargazing insert, Lorenzo Kane. I think those are... Those were listed on the back, I believe. Those were listed on the back. Somewhere. I know you guys don't want to spend all this time looking at... There's the Rocket Arms insert, one in five. So, yeah, we should get four of those. So, now that I'm not looking for it, that's that's when it shows up. So, all right, we'll get into the next pack here. So far, pretty happy with what I've hit. The rookies out of there, nice rookies. Um, but, yeah, these are gorgeous-looking cards. Gorgeous-looking cards. we got another Stargazer coming up here. Here's a Yelich. Sorry, Kyle Schwarber fans. I just showed it and didn't say anything about it. Hunter Renfro. And next, stargazing is Giancarlo Stanton. Those are pretty neat. Pretty neat cards. Here, I saw my... Left my Walker Buehler over there. So we got some stargazers. We got some rocket arms inserts. We should be getting a nucleus. I think the nucleus refractor... I want to say that might be like a die cut, but I, I'm not for sure. But... There goes another 
Nice rookie. Not one of the top, top rookies, but Mackenzie Gore. Put him up here with Nick Lodolo. Off the back there, we got Austin Meadows and another Stargazer, and it's Chris Bryant. It's nice to finally see these guys in their updated updated uniforms. <clears throat> Put that up there. Yeah, this was, these are, I don't see these going down in price. I said that, you know, sarcastically at the beginning if these happen to go back down in price, but they, they won't. These are not going to go back down in price. This is a lot shorter printed, I believe, than a lot of the other products are this year. So people are going to, this is going to dry up pretty quick. I mean, they're already like $250 a box. So, all right, let's see. We got a refractor. We should get a couple refractors base refractors per box let's see can we get somebody big it looks like Manny Machado so there we go Manny Machado refractor it even says refractor on there for the refractor impaired but we'll get these inserts moved over here because we should be getting a couple more refractors or one more at least. We'll get the inserts off to the side. We'll make a spot over there for something else. But a Manny Machado refractor. <clears throat> this is Zach Grinky. Looks like we got a all base pack here. Zach Grinky, Jose Barrios, Joe Musgrove, and Trevor Story in that pack. All right. No color yet. So maybe. What we got here? Can't tell if that. No, it's not some color, but we do have our second refractor. So let's see who we got here. Dansby, Jonathan India, Brandon Lau, and our second refractor. Got a rookie card logo on there. Don't see it. It's an Oakland A. What was that? Joe. Uh, oh, Frankie Montaz. Frankie Montaz refractor. So, yeah. We did get a Machado. Be nice to hit, get a rookie refractor, but you know there's still a chance we could beat the odds. Looks like we have our nucleus refractor. We got a die cut in here, so there's Emmanuel Rivera, there's Jared Walsh coming off the back here. We got Manny Machado. We got the base, and let's see who this die cut is of. Is it somebody big? It's a Padre and no. Oh. <laughs> Another, oh, it's launched into orbit. Not a nucleus refractor, but here we go. We got another, we got a Manny Machado again. So this is the Manny Machado box, I suppose. If you're a Manny Machado guy, then this is the box for you. Let's see if that sits there. Yeah, it'll sit there. Good enough, good enough. There's the Beau Show, we got Beau Bichette. We got another die cut in here. We got two die cuts in here. All right, two die cuts in one pack. So see what that's all about. Looks like it's got another one that's launched into orbit. Wilson Contreras, Obachet, and another launched into orbit of, ooh, there we go. I'm gonna say, we're gonna use Bo to cover up this, la this next card here. We don't wanna see that, do we? So a wander. Launched into orbit, die cut. That's very sweet. I will definitely take that. Launched into orbit, Wander Franco. Sit him right up there with Manny. And let's see what this... Maybe this, this should be the nucleus refractor. Whatever that looks like. Let's see. Who we got here? Got somebody big. It's a blue jay. That's Bo. Oh, it's a youth invasion. All right. Apparently, I have no idea what a nucleus refractor looks like yet. I've watched a little bit of these opened up, but nothing, nothing too crazy. Nothing too much that I've opened or that I've watched. But those are definitely cool, cool cards. All right, we'll sit that over there with the inserts and get into the next pack here. There's a Matt Manning rookie card. We got a thicky in the middle. Ooh, look at that. 
That looks like some gold to me. Looks like something gold. That's a thick boy right there. All right. Tony Santian. There's Matt Manning again. We got a Supernova Mookie Betts. Another insert. And what is this gold? Looks like a Panini. Looks like a, what is that? Like a Velocity Parallel from Panini is what it looks like. Copycat in there. Who we got here? I see a red helmet. It looks like Anthony Rendon. Oh, oh, it's one of those stargazing inserts. It's a stargazing insert parallel. 13 out of 50. Anthony Rendon. I'm sure there's a heck of a lot bigger names that we could have pulled, but that's not too bad. A gold. I'm not sure what they're going to call that. I'm going to call it a velocity because I'm pretty sure that's what that parallel was with uh, Panini. And it looks almost identical. The design does. All right. Next up, we got another another thicky in here. Look at that. A blue. What is that called? I need to know now. I need to know. I don't want the video to go super, super long, but... Stargazing inserts a gold interstellar, I guess is what they're calling that. One in 291 packs. That's, huh. And the blue base, blue moons, one in 19. So you get like one of those per box, it looks like. All right, let's see who it is. We'll come off the back first. We got Xander Bogarts. We got Max Scherzer. We got a Jackson Coar. And come on, let's see a rookie logo up in this corner. Woo! We got a rookie. Come on. Come on. Be a big boy. Be a big boy. That's not too bad. It's not one of the top, top rookies. But I will take a Gabriel Arias. The Blue Moon, I believe. Parallel. Numbered out of 99. That is a beaut. That is a beautiful looking card. So, so far, I said I would consider this box a box of success if I could get a couple of the top rookies. I've gotten three of them. If I could get a couple numbered, one, at least one numbered parallel. Gotten that. So let's keep trucking right through here. And we got another, look at that. We got another parallel. Come on, be something good. Be a to be selfish here. I'm only going to get one box. I might as well just like load it for me, right? Verdugo, Merrifield. There's a George Kirby rookie. That's not too bad. And we got another rookie logo on there. Nope. We got a Yankee. That's Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo. That looks like one of those Panini, like a scope parallel or something like that. But man, check that out. Anthony Rizzo. Base. And that is not numbered. It's not numbered, but that's a sick, sick looking card, I gotta tell you. So Top's just saying, hey Panini, guess what? We're gonna make, we're gonna steal your parallel idea, ideas, and we've got the logos. What are you gonna do about that? Nothing. They will do absolutely nothing about that. All right, we got another Stargazer in here, Brian De La Cruz. Jorge Polanco, Zach Wheeler, and Nick Castellanos. Running out of room on my stands up here. I know I could take a few of these down, but let's see. Can we end? What do we got in here? We got something. No, it looks a little bit different. Maybe it's, I don't know. We'll see. Juan Soto, that's a cool one. There's another rocket arm, Justin Verlander. Off the back, we got Jorge Soler. And what's this? Just a base, I guess? Vladdy. Vladdy Jr. I don't know if they have short prints in here. They may. I'm not 100% sure. I will go back and check, but we got two packs left. Two packs left. So far, so good. All right, got base pack here, Ryan Velade, Chris Bryant, Reed Detmers, and Jordan Alvarez. And the last pack 
Man, I really want to get more of these. This was this is a lot of fun. Got a Jose Siri rookie card. Got another Stargazer there of Tim Anderson. Dallas Keuchel, and the last card is Max Kepler. So, there you go. There is a hobby box of Topps Chrome Cosmic. What do you guys think about that? Got two number parallels. Hit nice three rookies. We got Pena, Cruz, J-Rod. Got this sweet-looking Anthony Rizzo parallel. I'm not going to take the time to look now at what the what the parallel is. I'll check it out later. But inserts are gorgeous. We've got a Youth Invasion die cut of Bo. Some launched into orbits. And the big one there, the Wander. Got a couple refractors. Overall, not too bad. Overall, not too bad. Pretty happy with that box. So what are we going to give it? Better than expected. I mean, not better than expected. If an auto, getting an autograph would have made it better than expected. So you guys let me know. Was this a, I'm not going to decide, based off what I said earlier and what you've seen, is this a ripe strawberry, which is top of the line, just an amazing, amazing box, or is this a juicy strawberry? Not anything too amazing, but still a very, very good box. You guys let me know in the comments. You need to subscribe first and then let me know. And I'll catch you on the next one. See you.